Hey, Basement Collective, thank you for watching a Basement Collective Battle Report, and we are finally back. This will be the first Monday Battle Report of many, hopefully. Today we have Ben here. You've not seen him before. And we're also at the Games Nook, a local store in Sudbury, Ontario. Games Nook! Games Nook! I also work here, but that's beside the point. It's a 1500 game. We tried to take less laid back or less competitive lists. So, in my 1500 of Grey Knights, it's Nemesis Strike Force with one Dread Knight only. Less competitive, so only going to take one Dread Knight. It has a cannon, a flamer, and a sword. And then my troop squad is these bros right here a side cannon hammer, just a hammer, and three uh, staves inside a Land Raider Crusader with a multi melter. And then we have my librarian, level three, and he has a hammer, and he had the Lieber Demonica some or other. And then we have Drago. And finally, a Paladin squad with an Apothecary, a Baroner side cannon, a side cannon hammer, and then two, um, what you call those? Stabs. And then finally, my librarian, that was the Vortex of Doom, and the new Psychic Powers, uh, Veil of Time, Psychic Fortress, Might of Heroes, and the Emperor's Wrath. And then, of course, Drago knows all his static powers, including Gate of Affinity, and the Dread Knight has Sanctuary. Let's go check out Ben's 1,500 points of Nids. And here we have Ben's 1,500 points of Nids. Take us through what you got here, Ben. Okay, I'm going to run the Gene Stealer uh, Gene cult. Stealer. And so you've got, there are, well, all these guys in the front row, basically. I can go over them. So there's the, the Patriarch. And then you've got the Magus, who rolled infinite or rolled uh, invisibility on telepathy, which was I'm pretty stoked about. Awesome. Um, you've got your two gene stealers. Uh, you've got your aberrants. That a couple of them have uh, thunder hammers. <laughs> uh, you've got basically a, a unit of guard that have grenade launchers and las cannons. Guard with grenade launchers. Yep. Uh, the grenade launcher guys are these ones, and then the what? What are the jeans? Oh my goodness! Focus camera. Yeah, I give up. Who cares? Rather close. Okay, and yeah. then basically these guys are like gene stealers. They're not as good in close combat, but they got rending claws and a lot of attacks. And then for the nids, I've got a toxic cream. I've got a Tyrannifex um, with the acid spray. Two Daka flying hive tyrants. A venom throat for a bit of shrouding, and then an exploding testicle or a mucolid spore. If it's exploding testicles. <laughs> Every time I see this model, that is actually all I can think of. Sorry if you're a kid watching this. <laughs> And we're talking about testicles, I'm sorry. Anyways, that is the list. We are playing number three in the Maelstrom. Uh, tactical Escalation, where you start off with one. And this is the table. And we will be going up by one each turn. And we're just going to play Dawn of War. So we'll come back and uh, we'll roll for some first turnage. And here we are with the objectives. Number four. Number one. Number two is over there. Number three. Number five. And number six, Kate, uh, since we play normal 40k, not any ITC or anything like that, we roll off and the person who wins can choose a table side and deploy first if they want. So we're tied two to two. We'll re-roll that. One to one. Well, thank goodness for that. Oh my god. Three to four. All okay, right, I'll go first. So you want to deploy first? Absolutely. Okay, so we'll come back after deployment. So do you have any infiltrators? No. Okay, so we are deployed. Ben has his two hive turns. Squad of Termagants, uh, Toxicreen, and... Tyrannifex. Tyrannifex. It's been a while since I played Nids. And then he infiltrated the uh, Gene Stealers with his Magos. Yep. And then there's another Gene Stealer called Squad. Finally, we got the pre Pure Breeds, they're called? Yeah, the Princelings. Princelings. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then... You've got also a squad there. Sweet, those are the Aberts? Yeah, and then over here, you've got your Venom Thropies sort of tucked in down right. here. The, and so yeah, so they're all of them. And, and, sorry? and in Deep Strike Reserve, I'm gonna wait till turn two to drop this nut. Oh wait. Bust a nut, drop the ball. I'll drop the ball in turn two. <laughs> <laughs> and then all I deployed was a land right at the five guys inside. Okay, Ben, you uh, did deploy first in according to 40k rules. You can choose if you'd like to go first or second. I'll go first. Oh wait, and I will not seize the initiative. So go ahead and draw your first objective. Oh, you know what? Shit. What? My leadership trait. I'll roll on tactical. Oh yeah, we forgot that. Yeah, so four. Four? <laughs> and I'm gonna roll on uh, strategic. Is that the... No, I'm gonna roll on the... Uh, I'm rolling on the one that's good for this one. Uh, yeah, I'm rolling a tactical too. Three. Okay, so we have three and four? Yep. 
124. Page 124. I can't believe you know that. I play okay. this game enough. All right. So you have well prepared. Generate one additional tactical objective on turn one. That's uh, really good. I'm roll that. Okay. One. Okay. After generating tactical objectives on your first turn, you can immediately choose this to use this warlord trait. If you do so, discard all your active tactical objectives and generate new ones. I would roll that because we only we only generate one first turn. Okay. It's not actually too bad though. Yeah. Well, five. I got five. And you got, okay, oh, yeah, I got one, sorry. Okay, you got one, which is good. While your warlord is alive, you can discard up to two active tactical objectives at the end of your turn instead of one. That's pretty good. And I have Master of Fate. Whilst your warlord is alive, you can reroll the dice when determining how many victory points are awarded for tactical objectives that award a random number of victory points when scored. I will keep that. Thank well, you very you have much. to. Oh, okay, wait, no. there we go. <laughs> like, oh, wait, so I'm not seizing this issue. And Ben, go ahead and draw your first objective. Turn one objective. And what do we have here? Objective Oon. I'm already is, on it pretty much. There we are. Okay, we'll come back at the end of Tyranids. Turn one. Okay, we're at the end of turn, Ben. As he's opening his pop, what happened? Tell us what happened here. Oh, like nothing. So he's got a Land Raider, and I've got a lot of not able to hurt Land Raider. Um, I shot a couple Laz Cannon shots at it, or mining lasers. Um, glanced, and then we remember night fighting. There was night fighting. He rolled a six. I did. Yeah. And so nothing. And so I, I was able to charge some aberrants in. These guys moved up, ran, and, and finished their move here. Um, and those guys went up and assaulted that. I was able to take two hall points off of it. With some I didn't sixes. Get, with, yes, I didn't get first blood, but I get a victory point for a scoring objective awesome. one. Okay, and I'll get one objective for my first turn, and that is destroy the demon. I'm going to discard that because you don't have any demons. No. <laughs> no. No. Oh, Kingslayer is straight up to your Warlord. Who's your Warlord here, Ben? Yeah. In the air, of course. Of course. Okay, we'll come back on the end of my <laughs> turn. Okay, and we're at the end of my turn. My Gen Knight, unfortunately, did not come on. But anyways, uh, so what happens? Drago actually came in all the way over here, and he landed, and I was happy. And then I tried to roll Veil of Time with seven dice and only rolled one success. <laughs> so I had to waste the rest of my dice to gaze from infinity them out of there so they wouldn't die. Other than that, in my shooting phase, nothing eventful happened other than killing one of these guys because his whole army had, sh well, his jeans like called, had shrouded on the first turn. And then these guys shot and then mopped up the rest. And in combat, losing one halberd guy. I consolidate over there. I did not get King Slayer. I will throw that out at the end of my first turn. But I did get first blood, so we are tied up still, Ben. So let's go yeah. ahead and draw your next two objectives. Oh my god, I'm so excited, I might pee. Okay, uh, objective six. Yep. And scour the skies. Uh, you can shoot that out. When have no flying, most creatures are flyers. Take no prisoners. So that's just kill a unit? Yeah. And objective six is... Right back there. Right here. Cool. And there it is. Oh, hold on. Let's, this, this might be able to win me the objective. Because my testicle of doom comes in! It does. Yeah. It's not the cool doom of Valentine. We'll come back for after Ben's second turn. Okay, and we're at Ben's end of turn two. What happened here, Ben? Uh, okay, well, I didn't get any uh, points because I needed to kill something and I didn't. Oh, I know. You hold objective six with the uh, one. I do, thing. but I'm going to check that because I don't actually know if I'll be able to hold objective six. Okay. But anyway, so this is what happened. I moved these guys out to shoot at that squad of dudes over there, but forgot to. And instead yeah. shot... So these guys were supposed to shoot and rapid fire into those guys. They forgot and instead just took some pot shots at the Land Raider. Hmm. This guy tried to warp lance this and take it out, ended up failing, falling out of the sky, missing it completely. It was just, it was a tragedy. It was. He took two wounds and he's on the ground. It was awful. Yep. Um, everything that was on this building has engaged with Drago. Yeah, doing two wounds to Drago and killing one paladin. Yep. Uh, this guy could do nothing. Uh, those guys just moved a little bit. This guy deep striked in, tried to get uh, close to objective number six, which I'm gonna find out if I can score or not. But it's not. Uh, if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. Okay. So it was go. a very underwhelming turn for me. Okay. So my turn. Two objectives. We got blood and guts in the assault phase, and then secure objective five, which is all the way over there. But we'll see if. Uh, let's see if my Jedi Knight comes in. I can really use his help right now. He indeed does. We'll come back at the end of my turn two. And here we are at the end of my turn. My objectives were blood and guts, which I did get. So here back to five, which I did not. I will, uh... Threw this one away. Yeah. I'm going to throw the objective five because I don't really need it. So I'm now up to two points. And what happened on my turn was uh, these guys got Gates of Infinity and Veil of Time off. So they're over there with the rerollable saves. This guy came in scattered. I tried to get him on objective five. He scattered too far, but he did manage to wipe out a good lead portion of this squad. 
The tank shot at a couple, killing three more of those guys. And then over here, the Terminators managed to get lucky, charge, only lose one guy, kill the flyer that was there, and run this way. That's my turn. Uh, so it's two points to Ben's uh, one point right now. But you do get three objectives this turn, Ben. So let's go ahead and see objectives. Okay, I get to pick up two cards. I didn't score anything, we found out last turn. Yeah. So the Mucolid cannot score. So I got rid of objective six, because it's kind of far. Yeah, so no prisoners. So no prisoners. I get one. Oh, this was one that's already been scored on. So I get Supremacy. You got to control at least two objectives and double me. Okay. So I have uh, two objectives right now. And objective four. Objective four is my Lance Raider is, is on. Okay. All right, All right. We'll, we'll come back at the end of... Ben's turn three. Okay, we're at the end of turn three for the Tyranids. What happened there, Ben? So I still haven't killed anything. I did not score objective four. Um, but, oh, and I forgot about this other objective too. You know what? I, this was just an all around fail round for me. Yeah. So I did score actually yeah. objective four. Okay. So you, got, you got supremacy though. I got, oh, do I have supremacy? I'm only holding one objective here. Perfectly, I got two. So I got supremacy. I didn't kill a unit yet. He's still, oh, I did! The Land Raider! Okay, so this is actually a pretty good turn for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got four when uh, this, who was it that finally did it? This last cannon up here shot mm -hmm. the land raider and popped it. Yes, the then one this, last cannon. Then this squad in the back ran up onto that Three one. sixes in a row. He lost a terminator over here when the mucolid spore ran at it and bust the nut all over them. One of them died. I'm this, sorry if there's any kids watching this show. I really am. This guy <laughs> came over here and tried to attack and roll double ones on but the charge. Did wound him. I did wound him. Double runs on the charge, nothing happened. Those guys fell back to make a charge. I think you mean ran away. Well, no, they fell back because uh -huh. they are fearless, so they wouldn't run. From this squad, so they can't get charged this turn. This yeah. is what's gonna get charged and probably die. Most likely. Yeah. Uh, other than that, it was pretty good, I guess. Okay. I just gotta roll a couple dice here, so. Oh, one dice. No, uh, you didn't kill three units. No, no one three. dice. Okay, so it's a D3 for supremacy. And I'm gonna re-roll that, because that was my leadership trait. The warlord trait, yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's still one. Okay, okay, so it's three to four right now. Yeah, I have four. You have, th you, I have four. You have three. I just got three objectives this turn. Oh, so it's four to four then. Four to four. Tied. There we are. Okay, and my three cards are secure objective two, secure objective two, and secure objective one. We'll come back at the end of my turn, guys. You stacked your deck. Okay, we're at the end of turn three for Grey Knights. Uh, these guys managed to kill the Toxicrine by charging the close combat. Except Drago took a wound and then Paladin took a wound. And they did fail the Veil of Time, so I didn't get my reroll both saves. Over here, the Dread Knight managed to get a long charge on the Venom Throat, but didn't get enough to consolidate onto Objective 1. These guys are holding the Objective 2, and these guys failed to kill the Hive Tart, so I will get two points putting me up to six. And then go ahead and draw four objectives. We're going to have to end this game on turn five, so the one at the end of turn five wins Score the game. Score on Objective 4, score on Objective 1, score on Objective 3, and Kingslayer. So kill, Dra kill Drago. Yeah. Good luck. No, Drago can't be my warlord. I rolled with librarian for my warlord trait, so kill my librarian. Okay, just uh, I want to figure out what these are first before I move anywhere, so one cell. And we're at the end of turn four for the Tyranids. What happened, Ben? Okay, well, I didn't kill his leader, but yeah. I got three objectives. I scored on objective one, yeah. I scored on objective three, and I scored on objective four. Yeah. I took out his dread knights, mm -hmm. which made me sort of happy. And we're now left. He's got two units these left. These guys charged the uh, oh, yeah. So the I, sh I threw everything I had at the Dread Knight this turn. Mm -hmm. I, it got Psychic Shrieked a couple times. It got um, it got shot with just about everything that's on the table that could shoot at it. And we slowly whittled it away until in Assault, the Patriarch got in there and just wrecked it. It did? It shred and blah, blah, blah. Never got any like rending, but mm -hmm. it's good enough. Uh, and we've consolidated back just to score on those objectives. So I have got seven objectives. All right, and you got to toss Kingslayer or keep it? Uh, I'm gonna toss Kingslayer. All right, so I get uh, four objectives now. Overwhelming Fellow Power Cask, uh, No Witnesses, uh, Psychological Warfare, and Teleport Attack. And one of the turn is completely destroyed by Granite Ruff and Deep and made a reserve. Made a teleport shot. That we'll see. Okay, we'll come back at the end of my turn. Okay, at the end of my turn, I didn't get any of these. I got some very bad ones. I'm gonna shoot a Psychological Warfare. And then I'm going to shoot out, um, I have no idea, uh, teleport attack. And what happened was I actually forgot to move these guys. And uh, these guys moved, tried to vortex this guy, missed the vortex, landed right there. I, so they did uh, get the re-rollable re armistice. And then I tried so to get some objectives by killing his warlord. 
shoot it in the air. I managed to hit with the side cannon twice, but then I didn't do any wounds, unfortunately. And that's my turn. So Ben, you get five objectives this turn. Yeah, let's see what I get here. So the first one is Ascendancy. Take, hold any three objectives. Okay, the next one is Harness the Warp. Okay. The next one is Objective Six. Yep. Blood and Guts, mm -hmm. so it's a purge. Objective three. And that's all. And that's it. Okay, all right, this is the last turn, so we're going to Ben's turn five. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, guys, and we're at the end of Ben turns five. Well, actually, we didn't finish Ben turns. He got some really objectives. He would have got seven points. I would not have been able to catch him. So that's his game. That's a good game, Ben. Close game until the end there. Uh, my lack of units. I only started at four units. I didn't help. Um, normally, we do a post-game show and talk about it, but unfortunately, we ended at turn five because I have to go to work. But I do want to thank you guys for watching another the Basement Collective Battle Report. We did announce a giveaway last week. So certainly go check out that video and enter it if you want to win over $300 worth of stuff. Um, like I said, this, this might have seemed rushed and I do apologize. And we are trying to have higher quality battle reports. So if you have any ideas on how we can make a battle reports, battle reports higher quality, certainly let us know. Thank you for watching another Basement Collective Battle Report and keep on wargaming, guys. Thanks, Ben. Get urban.